Oh, absolutely. So first of all, welcome to our channel, Kon Kana. And uh, I want to know, firstly, the true meaning of etiquette. Can you explain? <laughs> it's a very good question to start with, I must tell you, Priti. Now, the true meaning of etiquette is nothing but the way the other person who's in front of you feels in your company. So that is the true meaning of etiquette. So if I meet you for the first time, yeah. and how I make you feel with that first impression. Do you feel humbled? Do you feel warm? Do you feel the affection through my facial expression and my body language? How I make you feel? And that is, that is the basic of, of etiquette. So relationship is really the true meaning of etiquette. Okay. The humility factor. Humility is the ultimate sophistication. So I'll tell you one very interesting thing. You know, when people think I'm an etiquette consultant, they think, oh, she's too high maintenance, too refined. Etiquette is only for the elite or only for, uh, uh, the, you know, the, the, the affluent community, which is so not true because I have witnessed so many people from all strata of society having that humility and the warmth and and the way to build beautiful relationship. Right. So personally, how you feel to do this? I beg your pardon? Yeah. Could you repeat the question? I couldn't yeah, hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So personally, how you feel? I feel as a consultant. Yeah. Oh, as yes. I, 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 love, I love teaching. I love uh, I love the subject etiquette. I've always been passionate about it. Um, my whole education and specialization uh, yeah. revolves around etiquette, social etiquette, business etiquette, uh, international business protocol, cross-cultural education, and image consultancy. So that is my specialization. And I love teaching. I love the subject etiquette. I'm very uh, personally very passionate about the subject etiquette because it involves human connection. We are nothing but human beings, you know, and if, if uh, we, we touch someone's life with compassion, empathy, and kindness, then we are a, we are a human being that, that God's grace, we are a good human being. And that's what I think I'm, I'm very passionate about. And that, that is what etiquette is all about. Yeah. Very good. Amazing. So firstly, I want to know where this idea kahan se aaya? How you got the idea behind this? <laughs> you know, when I was uh, starting Summer Fair Academy in 2013, I wanted a luxury finishing school in India. I went to Europe to study okay. uh, later. And then I wanted something that is for the, uh, for the elite. Like, see, all of us know how to use a fork and a knife. All of us know that how to greet and say hello and good afternoon. Yeah. But what else can we teach? What else on an advanced level can, because somebody like me or you, you would know the basic etiquette. Right. Right. So then I was uh, thinking of uh, establishing, I was thinking of a luxury finishing school, some, something which where I can learn uh, the refinement, which is slightly on the uh, upscale level. And then we couldn't find one. And I went to Europe, I went to London, I went to America to, you know, sort of uh, train myself. And then I started Savoir Fair Academy, uh, which, is, which is specialized for luxury appreciation, advanced social skills, business etiquette, cross-cultural um, cross understanding. So I, the idea, kaha se aaya? Because I had this school in India, which I didn't get. Then I, when I, you know, I globally, I uh, sort of trained myself and then I yeah. started establishing some of our academy. <laughs> so tell us about uh, beauty pageants. Uh, how was your experience? You are attending so many beauty pageants and uh, you are working or you are participated also. So how was your experience? My experience was fantastic because I'll tell you what, I started attending international pageants uh, since I was 13 years old. No, not 13 perhaps 16, my apologies, 16. So 16 to 19, I um, attended about five, six international pageant, including Miss India. So Miss India was my last pageant when I was 19 years old. And uh, 
the international beauty pageant taught me a lot. I, I learned body language in a very, very good way. I learned how to present yourself very well internationally because what happens when you go internationally representing the country, rep representing yeah. the nation, you are going with a responsibility, right, you know. Right. Um, you're going to represent Hindustan. You're going to represent your country. So obviously, I, you know, went to several international pageant before Miss India. So the, there was a lot of response. My parents always taught me that, you know, but are you going to represent the country? So know that the way you behave, you straight away, the focus would be in the nation, in Hindustan, in India. So that was always in my mind when I was representing my country abroad. And I think when you start traveling and representing your country in different beauty pageant all over the world, it also teaches you a lot of cultural understanding, which I learned. So that definitely helped. Yeah. You, are also, yeah, you are also working for social work, uh, orphan and children. So many works you are doing welfare. So how was your feeling to do this? I love philanthropy. I love doing human humanitarian work because yeah. that gives me a self of that gives me a sense of uh, satisfaction that I cannot sort of uh, put it in words. You know, there is a say that when when you do something nice for people who are in need, you get endorphins, there is a hormone that's production, endorphin that makes you feel better. And also what happens is, it is our responsibility, don't you think? I mean, I, as a youngster, as a millennial, I would like to, I would like to influence or I would like to encourage the, you know, the girls of my generation or the people of my generation to involve in philanthropy um, quite, um, seriously uh, quite sincerely i would say because not only it gives you it shapes emotional alive. can you hear me no your voice is breaking yeah now it's you now it's good so can, you, can you see me and hear me now yeah 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 Continue. So I think philanthropy shapes you emotionally as well, very much. And it gives me a sense of love, compassion, and it gives me huge joy. So I love doing it. I'm working very closely with uh, Habitat for Humanity. I also like to, um, I have been recently associated with uh, a children's foundation who are very sweetly, very nicely actually, looking after young children who are suffering for cancer and they are getting treated in Tata Memorial. And um, they are, you know, it's a beautiful place where they get all the amenities for, for the parents to live with the children. So they get a very easy uh, medical treatment. I also go and visit the children very often. So I'm very passionate about it. I'm very closely uh, trying to work on liver transplant because I lost my mom in 2015 during a malfunction of liver transplant. So I like to contribute my time and effort in raising more awareness in liver transplant. So that gives me a lot of happiness. So I want to know, you are a brand ambassador for various uh, brand. Uh, how was your feeling like, uh, how much uh, responsibility you feel? When you're representing a brand, you know, yeah. Um, I believe as a brand ambassador, it is your responsibility that you represent the brand in a way that you are contributing some kind of a credibility. It gave me immense joy and pride when I was chosen for Bombay Dine or any other jewelry company um, when I was modeling and it gives me, it gave me a lot of joy. So, but at the end of the day, if you're representing a brand, there's a sense of responsibility that comes in your, uh, your way. And I think uh, looking after your personal branding and just just because, you know, as a brand ambassador, you're representing a certain brand. So how I conduct myself in my personal life is very important. Okay. So what kind of thing you do in free time? I spend a lot of time with my family. Okay. <laughs> my life revolves around my work at the Suburb Fair Academy where I'm teaching 
and uh, on image and etiquette. I have international clients who come to Bombay uh, to stay for 21 days to do the entire transformation and then leave. So I do have a lot of clients to attend to. So that takes, I would say, 90% of my time. And um, I am a very family person. So I spend my time with my dad and my brother, my younger brother. And I have three dogs at home. Oh, wow. so, <laughs> so on my free day, it's a family time. Okay. So in future, what kind of uh, thing you want to do? In Let future, I would work and uh, different field. I would love to. Uh, I would love to expand the knowledge of etiquette internationally and in India. Especially India is a very large uh, democracy. So I think everybody must know one simple thing that etiquette is not for only for the refined society. It is for everybody. And if I can spread that message among everyone in India that etiquette is nothing but humility, compassion, consideration, respect, and honesty. These are the only true meaning of etiquette, you know? And if I get an opportunity to expand the knowledge of etiquette in my country, I would be privileged. I would consider myself, and that, that is my motto, and that is what I want to do, uh, spreading awareness about etiquette, about uh, relationship building and the understanding of image transformation and how it can impact somebody's life. Yeah. So you are an actor also. So what kind of thing do you do in that field in future? <laughs> well, if, if, if something that comes on my way that I'm, I think that it would uh, merge with my personal branding well, I would definitely consider. Okay. I want to know your dream list. Oh, sorry, wish list. You want to know my dream? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, what kind of very things you want to do in the future? I, I am very passionate about philanthropy, so I would like to contribute a lot of my time in philanthropy. I would love to encourage the generation of my generation, the millennials, to involve in philanthropy and social work, and it gives huge amount of satisfaction. I would like to contribute my time in educating young girls. I think uh, girls are the future. <laughs> right. I'd love to uh, contribute my time in educating and spreading the awareness of uh, education among uh, young ladies. And I would love to expand my Savoir Fair Academy and I would love to spread the knowledge on etiquette. And these are the only things on my wish list. Okay. So what do, you, uh, what do you want to tell uh, your audience who admire you, who follow you? I would just like to say that, um, you know, as the citizen of a nation, it is our responsibility to spread compassion and kindness. And when we do that, it, we don't do it for others, but we do it for ourselves. I personally have benefited emotionally uh, very much and also in professional front just by being kind. It's a simple thing, act of kindness, act of generosity um, is a is very, very simple thing to do. You know, if you are in a position to help someone perform an act of kindness and it would not only help the other person, it would help you very much in your transformation. And that's one thing I would like to encourage everyone. Okay. So personally, how you feel when you get so much love from your audience, from your followers and from your, yeah, supporters? Personally, what you feel? It's a, I do, I, it's a, it surprises me. I have, you know, I never really thought I would have followers who admires me for etiquette and grooming because you yeah. see this 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 subject is so niche um not many people know about finishing school or etiquette or image not many people even think if it, it's perhaps very important yeah. but i do have a niche who follow me and uh, they they send me beautiful messages um in fact written down saying how much uh, you know my simple knowledge uh, whatever they get to see online 
has impacted them in their personal growth. And that gives me immense joy. And that also is a reassurance for me that I must be doing something right. <laughs> so thank you so much. Nice to talking to you, Konkana. Oh, thank you, Preeti. Thank, thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure meeting you. Same here. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you.